Hey guys, uh, welcome to this new tutorial. So today what I want to work on is um, in this game that I'm making, I have this ability that the character can uh, do a flank attack on a horse. And it's pretty much there, except it doesn't work for my new character. Let's just maybe add some sound here. So if I start the battle, I have this Dark Knight character. And, you know, it's really cool. He can attack, he can fight. And then I added this ability where he can do a flank attack. And then basically what happens is this. So he's charging at the enemy and attacking him. As you can see, the legs are not moving at all. Uh, the reason for that is that... What's the error? What's going on here? Oh, okay. The reason for that is that um, in my animation blueprint uh, I have no logic that animates the legs when the attack happens. So my attack animation is basically, you know, um, let's just say something like this, right? But then I have this blend space where, you know, this character is locomoting. So, uh, you know, um, depending on the speed of animation, the characters uh, moving forward faster or slower, right? Um, so I need to blend that. How do I blend for the lower body while the upper body is supposed to execute an attack? So there is my logic and it's basically a state machine that's triggering different attacks and that works really well without that um, particular uh, tweak. So first of all, I need an ability to determine whether this um, this is happening or not. So I have this blueprint here uh, called the battle map. And uh, that basically allows me to determine what's happening. So I have this ability stage thing, and this ability stage uh, is very specific when this attack is happening. So basically, um, it's it's basically it's this. So like if move unit as projectile, if that's the ability stage, then we know that this is what's happening. So basically, I'm just going to do this here. And if the ability stage is moving as a projectile, then I know that I have to do something in my animation blueprint to animate those legs of the horse. So how can I do that now? Uh, for now, maybe just just print something. Print uh, need to animate legs, right? So let's just do that. And let's see if it works. I know there's some kind of an error there. Um, so let's see what the error is. And I think we got to start there. So I'm just going to stop it now and there is an error. The error is that I'm trying to get uh, that battle map, but it's not assigned yet because I'm trying to get it in the very beginning when it's not yet initialized. Okay, so to be safe, uh, maybe I need to put some kind of a, a condition here. For instance, is valid if it's valid do this if it's valid uh, so I'm just gonna plug this here it's always good to check if something's valid if it's not valid you're gonna have an error and it's gonna break your game so this is a pretty good uh, check here so now I can test it and uh, I should not be getting those errors so let me just start this battle and let's see uh, if this is gonna be printed. So in my output log right now, I don't really have anything printing. So I'm just gonna go ahead 
and uh, trigger that attack. So as you can see, nothing is really happening here. But now, as I trigger this ability, you will see that the blueprint is yelling, need to animate legs. So as you can see, this is exactly what we wanted. And now, how do we hook it up? Because this is not going to animate our legs, it's just going to print a message, right? So, uh, maybe uh, a good thing would be to just assign some variables. So let's just create like a bool variable and be like, animate legs will be false by default and then set animate legs I'm just gonna basically set the the value of that so basically if this condition is met then it's gonna be true if this condition is not met it's gonna be false okay so save and compile uh, by default my animate legs variable is off so now in my anim graph, I can do something based on that variable. So I can read that variable here, and then if if it's true or if it's false, I can apply a certain blend mask. So I have a state machine here, but I also can put that uh, blend space that's animating my locomotion. And... Uh, Let's just for now do no weapons. That's okay, it doesn't matter. Those blend spaces are exactly the same. Uh, one is triggered when the character has weapons, one where there has no weapons. Doesn't matter because we're not concerned with the character, just the horse here. So we can use either or. So uh, it takes the speed. So I need to plug in the speed to this blend space to know whether it's running or walking. That's a different story. And now this whole thing is about blending this state machine with this locomotion. So how do I blend it? Hey everyone, I'm working on my passion project, Beast vs Undead, a turn-based RPG inspired by classics like Heroes of Might and Magic and Age of Wonders, but with its own unique twist. If this sounds like your kind of game, I'd love your support on Patreon. By becoming a patron, you'll get exclusive access to the latest builds, stunning new artwork, in-depth game development tutorials, behind-the-scenes dev diaries, and even the opportunity to help shape the game itself. Your support means the world and helps bring this dream to life. So check out my Patreon and join the journey. So there is this feature here called, yeah, layered blend per bone. So that thing. And so that thing is basically going to blend between my uh, state machine, which is going to animate the attack of the guy and my locomotion. And uh, it's going to blend based on whether the animate legs is true or false. So this takes a float from 0 to 1, where 1 is like fully the second pose, 0 is fully the first pose. And this bool can also be plugged in here, just going to be converted to a float. Because as you know, the bool, when it's 0, when it's false, then it's 0. When it's true, then it's one. So it's going to work exactly the same. Now, the only problem with this thing is that we don't know exactly what do we want to filter out. Because like blending, okay. But what is it going to animate? Is it going to animate the whole skeleton or just a part of the skeleton? So there's two ways to do it. You have um, an option to either blend by mask or blend by branch. So I had like really good luck with blend by mask because it's really nice. You can set it up yourself. But branch filter might be easier in this case. So I'm going to try it and if I fail, I'm going to do the one I know well, which is blend by mask. So branch filter, basically I'm trying to filter my bones uh, based on a uh, a joint, you know. So I can add like a branch filter here. And basically, which bone am I using and how deep do I go? So we have to have a look at our skeleton here. And look at that skeleton. And so I know that there is like a horse. Um, it's, it seems like the horse has a separate skeleton. 
compared to the character. So you see, this is the character skeleton. Like if you if you just go and show bones, you'll see that this is the character skeleton, but this is the horse skeleton. So in theory, I should just be able to filter by horse pelvis and just kind of like go as deep as I need to go. So let's try that and see if it works. So bone name, horse, pelvis. Now here, the blend depth, like how deep do I want to go? Uh, so I'm just going to say like 15. And let's see if this is going to animate that horse the way I wanted to animate it. So let's uh, run the game. So first of all, we need to verify that everything works. And so as you can see, he's animating, okay? So let's just bring him forward. That still all works. Now the test. Do the flank attack and attack. And so as you can see, it kind of worked, but not really. Uh, the reason why it didn't work that well is because my blend space here, it's not looping the animation. It's supposed to be always playing the animation and looping the animation. So here it says that it is looping, but for some reason I don't see it looping. Um, so that's a little bit weird. Uh, peculiar. Let's see. Okay, let's see in my state machine. When I animate the walk cycle, that's exactly what I want, okay? Uh, let's, let's run it in slow motion. That way we can see what's actually happening. So, let's start the battle. Let's move forward. And now we can just type in slow mo, zero two in the console, and then let's do it. Let's do it. So as you can see, the horse is animating. Okay. It might be that it's animating, but for some reason it's not animating deep enough. Let's see if uh, maybe we can do a branch filter and go deeper. Um, so I want to go back to my um, anim graph. I don't want to go, yeah, there. Layered blend per bone. Let's do 20. And another thing that I'm kind of thinking about is because it's so fast, maybe I need to increase my locomotion speed, multiply it by two so that it looks a little bit better because it feels like it's not enough so let's see if that fixes it and hopefully it will there's always tweaking with this all right so i'm just gonna go here he's gonna shoot me now and then now let's attack yeah, so I mean, obviously, you know, um, this animation is not perfect, and it's there's some work that needs to be done. Maybe the character should be leaning more forward, um, but it seems like it works just fine. So we can uh, maybe just do the slow-mo thing to really analyze it in depth, but I think we're going to just end here, because I think we achieved what we wanted to achieve. Uh, let's just do slow mo 0 5 to just get like the half speed and see. And let's see it. Alright, so as you can see, it's working. Uh, it just might need some improvements. But as you can see, that's how you can do it. So uh, that's the branch filter for you. It's not bad. 
Uh, the other technique is a little bit better because rather than just doing this, you know, blend def and the bone, sometimes you can just actually specify a blend mask and be like, which bone is blending and how much. So that's like really nice. But both work just fine. All right. So I hope that was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, enjoy. And if you like this, make sure to subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I've got something special for all you rigging and game dev enthusiasts out there. If you've ever wanted to master quadruped rigging from scratch, then I've got the perfect course for you. My quadruped rigging course is designed to take you from zero experience to creating fully rigged animated creature, no prior knowledge needed. We'll go through everything, building the skeleton, skinning, creating controls and setting up advanced rig systems. By the end of the course you'll be able to animate your creature integrated in Unreal Engine 5, bringing your game projects to life. The course is available on my website at cornica 3 d click and also on Patreon. Become a member, support my work and get access to this course and a lot more. Trust me, you won't regret it.